This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar on working with audio in Apple Final Cut Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to add transitions to audio clips in Final Cut. Here I have a, an audio interview. If I play it... Schools have to teach basic technology skills. There is no way out of this. This video clip is an interview with Dr. Vint Cerf that I did back in, oh gosh, 2004, I would think now. And I'm grateful to him for allowing me to use his interview. Schools have to teach basic technology skills. Now that's an okay way to start. Let's zoom in, Command Plus, and hit the Home key to go to the very beginning. But we have a little bit of room tone here. It would be nice to add a fade up to the audio. And if we hover over the beginning of a clip, notice this little dot appears. And if you drag the dot, notice the left and right pointing arrows. Here, I'm going to trim the edge of the clip. There, I'm going to trim the fade dot. The fade dot allows me to add a fade up or fade out to the ends of a clip. If you control click on a fade dot, we can change the shape of the curve. Linear is a really good option when we're fading to or from black. Schools. Or... If we're crossfading between two steady state clips, a plus 3 dB sounds better. Schools have to teach. Baby. And if you're trying to hide a breath right here, a better option is the minus 3 dB, which starts slowly and ramps up quickly, which is a good way of minimizing a breath here before they start to talk there. And you access these curves by control clicking on the fade dot. To change the timing of a fade dot, just simply grab and drag it left or right to take the fade out totally. Go all the way to the edge of the clip. So let's add this fade dot. Remember, look for the two-headed arrow, and we'll fade Dr. Surf in. Schools have to. So one way to use a fade dot is at the very beginning of a clip, say, to hide a breath. Another is to sneak some audio in underneath. Than a caveman would who didn't understand the habits of the saber-toothed tiger. So what I'd like to do here is I want to sneak in this audio so that it starts under him and comes up full as he finishes talking. So we'll do something like this. Right about there. Better than a caveman would who didn't understand the habits of a saber-toothed tiger. It eases into that B-roll transition. Better than a caveman would who didn't understand the habits of a saber-toothed tiger. But wouldn't it be cool if there was an automatic way to add a fade? And the answer is there is. It's a relatively new feature. We select the trim tool, keyboard shortcut is the letter T, select the edit point, and type Option T. And you'll notice here it's added an automatic fade based upon the duration of the preference setting that we talked about a few minutes ago. Remember where it says audio fade? That's where it applies. Now when we play this... We make a very smooth transition from the wild sounds of outer space to the gentle music of Mars. And then at the end, we'll drag the fade dot. Whoops, at the end, we'll drag the fade dot. Got to look for those two arrows right there. And just do a fade to black. This was an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar on working with audio in Apple Final Cut Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 308. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.